Mr. Chairman. Uh, I just want to take a moment to uh, thank you and uh, Ranking Member Portman for your comments at the beginning of this hearing, not just uh, making note of the items appearing on today's agenda, but the uh, horrific tragedy that took place yesterday in uh, Uvalde, Texas. Um, there's been a lot of uh, chatter, both public and private, uh, in the last day about um, when incidents, tragedies, mass killings like we saw yesterday will end. I know it's hard, given the political reality of Congress, given the political reality of the Senate right now, with literally a 50-50 makeup, and of course the, uh, the filibuster rule that makes it even harder for things like common sense gun safety measures to advance. But the country is watching. The country is waiting. The country is wanting a lot of these measures that can reduce the chances of tragedies like this from happening again to advance. We've talked about it, Mr. Chairman, whether it's improving background checks, whether it's banning assault weapons or high-capacity magazines, tackling the issue of ghost guns. I also know it's tricky because some of these issues straddle the jurisdiction of multiple committees. Judiciary Committee is meeting right now. And on that agenda, I'm a member of that committee, on that agenda is the nominee for the head of ATF. And so it's a conversation happening just a few steps away from this committee hearing room. But Mr. Chairman, this is the committee for Homeland Security and Government Affairs. When people don't know whether they can safely go to the grocery store, our homeland is not secure. When Americans wonder if they're going to be safe at a house of worship, our homeland is not secure. When children, elementary school age children, have to go to school in fear of what may or may not happen. You know, I shared in a number of audiences and interviews yesterday, growing up in California, I'm not unfamiliar with practicing fire drills as a kid, and my kids do now as well, or earthquake drills. But when elementary school kids have to practice active shooter drills in schools, it's a sad commentary on our society. And we have ideas that can reduce the chances of future tragedies from happening. I hope this committee, other committees, the Senate as a whole, finds the courage and the backbone necessary to do something that we know can help. Thank you for the opportunity to share a few words, Mr. Chairman.